Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? This is Silvio, the wine entrepreneur, and you're on a journey, a journey of wine, spirits, culinary delight, and a good time. Welcome aboard and all aboard to Nationwide Wine. Please subscribe. So today, I'm going to show you how to open uh, a bottle of wine properly, especially if you're in the uh, restaurant industry, you want to know these tricks. And today we have an awesome, awesome wine. It's called uh, Bogle. It's the Winery of the Year 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon, and it's a Napa Valley wine. So, this is stereotypically the wine opener, for me at least, of choice. You could do the rabbit ears, but I just find that very, very unprofessional. Unlike my sister Patricia, who likes to use it all the time, it's not my cup of tea. So, take out the, uh, the serrated edge of the blade and put it under the lip. Now, a lot of people prefer to go here, but I prefer not to because of the fact that the foil can change the flavor of the wine. I prefer to go under the, 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 uh, the bottom lip and then hold the knife still and then turn the bottle, not the knife. Really easy. There's a way to just take the whole entire uh, foil off. But after you make that cut, you take this, right, and you put it in your pocket. You don't throw it on the table, you don't throw it on the floor, and you present the wine to the customer. Uh, Bogle Vineyards 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon, like I did earlier. And they give you the nod. You take out the uh, corkscrew in the middle of the uh, wine opener and put it right in the center of the bottle, right in the center of the cork, and just turn. Hold that bottle still, don't do this. Hold the bottle up, turn the corkscrew, and then this is a two-step part. It's kind of like, remember that game when you're little at the uh, carnival where you, you, you pull the trigger and water you know, uh, comes out and then a balloon pops. It's kind of like this is exactly what I was talking about. Have your thumb on there as if you're, you're, you're you know, splashing the water out in the carnival and then you're just going to bring it up halfway because right now, remember, this is a two-part step. So step one and then step two, you go back to the T and you put the second part of the uh, of, of the wine opener on the lip of the bottle and then nice and easy you pull this out it's about to pop there you go you get that pop you see that nice little ink there there might be some sediment in this wine which gives wine flavor take the cork now, a lot of people like I said a lot of people like to smell the corks I call them cork dorks or maybe, you know, they're just dorks, but... And then with the, the glass, which was so well provided by my sister Patricia, uh, when you pour a sample, you always go by age first. Well, first and foremost, you pour it for the gentleman or the lady that ordered the wine. You let them sample it. And then after that, you pour it eldest to the youngest, Women first, men second. And then after that, the person who ordered the wine will smell it. Say this is a good wine. Cheers. Delicious. Well, that's my video for the day. Thank you so much for, for being a uh, subscriber and an avid fan. I appreciate you like it's nobody's business. I'll catch you at the next video. Ciao for now.